day 70 becoming Christopher Cruz. I almost forgot to do a video today. That's crazy. Um, so, uh, I've been out here. Just saw a coaching client today, which was great. Um, to catch up with her, do a little bit of coaching, tell her about my MVP program. That was all good. Um, but I've been spending the days with my ex-girlfriend, and it's been awesome. Like, really, really amazing. Both of our hearts have been open. We've been fully self-expressed with each other. We've been laughing, having the best time. Like, And I've never felt so close to her before. Um, and tonight, some things came up, and... Um, we talked about how, like, we've, the last seven months of our life, of our lives have changed so much because we've had each other there to support each other and push each other and help each other grow. And, and we changed our lives so much in that seven months because of each other. And... You know, we had each other there. And so that, that allowed us to kind of do things that we wouldn't have done on our own. Like, I know for sure there's so many things that I would not have done in the last seven months if it wasn't for her. If it wasn't for her encouragement, if it wasn't for her challenging me and pushing me and seeing the greatness in me and holding me accountable and doing all these different things and inspiring me and loving me and I just there's so many things I wouldn't have done and I know it's the same for her and uh, the last seven months we really needed each other to get to the point that we're at now and um, I believe the next phase of our transformation or our journey is to now do it on our own. Like before we met each other, we couldn't get out of what we were in. And then we met each other and that gave us the courage and the strength and everything we needed to get out of that place that we were stuck. And now that we're both coming out of it, it's like that next phase is okay, we did it with help, now can we do it on our own? And I channeled something last week that said that we have to let each other go. This is the part of our journey where we separate and we focus 100% on, on ourselves because we give each other so much energy and it's not in a bad way, like it's in a good way right now. But that energy that we give each other, we have to be able to get back to ourselves. And so it was just saying, like, we need to go down a separate path right now and heal ourselves and do what we need to do and grow and transform and um, become the people that we're meant to be. And we'll come back into each other's lives and it will be way more powerful than it ever was before. And um, so I talked to her about that tonight. It was really hard because we've never felt this close and connected before. She's really opening her heart and that's all I've ever wanted. And now she's doing it. Um, but it was a really hard conversation and she said in her heart, she feels that's right. She agrees. And she was like, it's bullshit, though, and it sucks. And I agree with her. It fucking sucks. But, um, yeah. We can't deny what's what feels right. So, yeah. So we got three days to just enjoy the fuck out of each other.
there's just so much love that we have for each other. Like, we've been through some shit. But just because you go through shit doesn't mean that you don't love someone. And I have so much love in my heart for her. And I can feel, really genuinely, truly feel how much she loves me. And that's such a blessing. So, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens.